Hi everyone, my name is Marinx Pasvic and in this video I will show you how to create your own AI tool locally like ChatGPT using the LLAM Sharp package and a train free model. As you already know, we are quickly entering the era of AI in tech and software development. More recently, we have gained access to using AI on the web and even on our devices. Now we can run AIs locally on our personal computers. In this video, you will see how. As usual, if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps me a lot and supports the channel as well. Now, let's continue with this topic. So, I have a console application created. And the first thing I will do is install the LLAM Sharp package. Additionally, let's install the backend package. This will install the same version of the backend as the LLAM Sharp package. These backend packages are native C++ libraries that LLAM Sharp utilizes. Consequently, adding this package improves the performance of the deployed LLM. Ok, after the installation, I need to download the LLM or large language model. Now, before I do that, I would like to let you know about our products. Currently, we have the ultimate ASP.NET Core Web API book to create production ready web APIs and the Blazor WebAssembly course you can use to create client c -sharp apps without using JavaScript. Of course, new courses are almost here, so if you subscribe, you will be notified once the new courses are published. Ok, to continue, let's navigate to this address. And here, you can see a list of trained models. I will download the latest one. Just an additional information that Hugging Face is an online repository for projects related to machine learning. Additionally, it provides services for training or editing ML models. Ok, so as you can see, the file is pretty large and to avoid waiting for its download, I already downloaded it and placed it inside the solution. Now, if you look at the name of the file, the Q80 part refers to the quantization method used to build this specific model file. Quantization is a technique used in machine learning to reduce the size and computational demands of an LLM. Great, now with everything prepared, I can write some code to activate the model and prepare my own ChatGPT-like app. So inside the program class, I will first get the path of the model file. So let's first get the directory path and for that, I will use the directory class and the getParent method. Now, as an argument, I will call the directory .getCurrent directory method to get the path of the current working directory. But I also have to navigate a couple of folders up and convert the path to string. Now, I can get the model file path by using the path.combine method and pass the directory variable as the first argument and the name of the file as the second one. Ok, this is done and now let's set some model parameters. So to prepare parameters for our model, I will use the model params class and pass the path to the model file as an argument. Here I will set the context size to 4096 and the GPU layer count property to 5. Context size refers to the maximum length of context or memory the model can handle in a single pass. In the context of a chat model, this means the maximum number of tokens or characters it can remember from the conversation history. On the other hand, GPU layer count specifies how many layers of the model are to be processed on the GPU. Offloading computation to the GPU can speed up processing, especially for deep learning models. Next, I need a new model variable inside the using directive and I will use the LAM awaits class with the load from file method to load the model file weights into memory using the configuration specified inside the parameters variable. Also, inside the new using directive, I need the context and for that, I will use the model variable and call the create context method to create a context for interacting with the model with the parameters variable as an argument. I need an executor here and I will create it using the interactive executor class with the context as the argument. With all this in place, 
I can prepare a prompt with the chat history to direct its behavior and set our expectations of how the model should respond to inputs. A prompt plays a critical role in the performance and user experience of an LLM. It serves as the initial input that guides the model's responses, influencing the quality and relevance of the generated response. A well-crafted prompt provides clear context and specific instructions, enabling the LLM to produce accurate and coherent responses. Ok, with the executor and chat history prepared, I can create a new chat session using the chat session class with the executor and chat history arguments. I also need a new variable here and we'll use a new instance of the inference params class to configure parameters for generating responses from the model. Here, let's set the max tokens property to 1024 and the anti prompts property to a new list of the string type with a single user member. The max tokens property sets the maximum number of tokens that the model should generate in its response. On the other hand, the anti prompts property is a list of strings that are used to control the generation process. The model will stop generating text when it encounters any of these anti prompts in the generated output. In this case, the list contains the string user, meaning the model will stop generating text if it encounters this string. At this point, I can notify the user that chat is ready and wait for their input. So let's just change the color of the console output to yellow and then write a message that the chat is ready. And in a new line, set the user placeholder waiting for the user's input. Of course, I need to accept that input in a user input variable. And I will do that using the console.readLine method. Or if it is null, I will assign an empty string here. After I have the first input from the user, I have to define what will stop the chat. Or in other words, how long the chat will be active. For that, I will use a while loop and will keep the chat active until the user enters the stop word. Then inside the loop, as you see, I'm generating responses from the model and accepting new inputs from the user. Awesome! With all of this prepared, I can run my app and test the chat. As you can see, the application configured a lot of parameters here and we can see the chat is ready and waiting for the user's input. So, let's ask for a result of a simple mathematical operation. And we have our answer. Also, let's ask the chat about the capital of the United States. And again, we have a correct answer here. Also, sometimes the model will output some additional information not requested. As the developers, we have a few things we can change in this situation to receive a better answer, such as editing the prompt, changing the model, or changing the quantization method used to generate the model. This response may be due to how model was trained, as a consequence, out of our control. Lastly, let's ask the chat to create an email template for us, telling our friend to reschedule a meeting for an hour due to my personal obligations. And again, you can see Jeff is writing an email template for us. It can be different if we ask this one more time, but the point is here and we can use the template with some changes for sure. As you saw in the video, LLAMA Sharp is an awesome tool that simplifies the process of integrating an LLM locally into a C-Sharp application. Additionally, with just a few lines of code, we can take advantage of dynamic and advanced technology. As we saw in conversation examples, the experience is only as good as the model we are using. Nevertheless, utilizing LLAMA Sharp opens the door to many possibilities with app-integrated LLMs. If you liked the video and found it useful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and the bell button to receive notifications of my future videos. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new ones to come. Until then, all the best.